Well, this week we're gonna do some maintenance. Um, I did a maintenance video a couple weeks ago and it, it did very well, it had a lot of views. Uh, I even got some people emailing me about some questions and stuff um, on motors they were doing. So this week I'm gonna, uh, or this video, I'm gonna uh, check the valve lash, um, clean out the valve covers, I wanna change the oil, and uh, also, um, I ordered a leak down tester for the barrel valve. It came in last week, actually. It's been sitting here. Um, I want to go ahead and leak down test the barrel valve to see where I'm at. So in the future, if I ever have to take it apart or disassemble the fuel system, I could put the leak down, you know, and set it really close to where it's at right now. I'll have a good reference for a starting point. So... Let me see if I can get the plugs out and we'll get the, I'll get the camera set up. I'll get the valve covers off. Hopefully we shouldn't. The last time I didn't have to adjust anything. Like I said, I'm, I don't drag race it. I'm not trying to race to within two one hundredths of a second or something like that. Um, me basically chasing the, checking the valve lashes just to make sure nothing broke. There ain't no broken spring or keepers or something. You know, if something's way out of adjustment, something's either wearing too fast or broke. So it's more for checking than it is for adjusting, but I will go ahead and check the adjustment on it. Let me get the camera set up and uh, see if I can get started. Well, I'm gonna start on this side here. We'll get the valve covers off and let's see how much oil, uh, milky oil is inside here. Using uh, studs for the valve covers makes it a hell of a lot easier when you got a uh, solid lifters taking them on and off and getting it lined up. Um, I've had the car on the road now probably three months and um, never had an oil leak, no no problems with the. And I, like I said, I take the valve covers off every two weeks. See, I don't know if you can see the water in there or not. But here's where it usually builds up. I don't know if you can see in here. 
this milky oil right here. Let me get this one off. Look bad. It's clean. No metal in it. That's a good sign. I'll just clean out. You can see. I don't know if you can see from the camera, but there's little bits of uh, water and oil sitting down in the bottom here because the drains are up about three quarters of the way up on the heads. So it just settles in here. So let me move the camera. We're gonna go to the other side. I'll take it off and uh, we'll start getting everything cleaned up first and then we'll check the valve adjustment. Let's hope we have no surprises on this side. Breather. About to take this off. Not too bad. I was expecting worse. I don't know if you can see the water running down there. All right. Let me get this side cleaned out. I'll get the valley waste cleaned out. And then we'll uh, start on the adjustment. No metal, it's a good sign. Just, <clears throat> just a little bit of water, uh, milky oil from the methanol. I don't see no broken springs, no pieces. Everything looks good. All right. Well, I got the valve covers cleaned, got the heads cleaned, everything's cleaned out. You can see up in here, uh, we're looking good there. <clears throat> and uh, I was getting ready to adjust the valves. So 
I know there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, some people wait till uh, I think the intake's down, the exhaust starts to move or vice versa to get on the low side of the cam. Um, I don't do it that way. Um, this is the way I do it. I'm not making this video to show everybody how to adjust valves. I'm just making this video showing how I adjust my valves. Uh, I set the uh, balancer top dead center. I don't, you can see right here at zero. I have a 360 degree balancer, which makes that easy for me. So I'm on the compression stroke right here. I took out the uh, number one plug. You can see right here. Hold on, right there. It looks like it was running pretty good. It's right about at the tip of the elbow is the, the white line. So. So with that being said, what I do is um, turn, I'll adjust this now on top dead center. I put a breaker bar in the top here. I'll turn it 90 degrees. It'll show up 270 degrees on the pointer. And then I'll go do number five and then spin it another quarter turn, 180 degrees will be at the pointer. And I'll go ahead and do number four and work my way through the firing order. That way I just go through it one time and it's done. Um, it's the way I've always done it. I've never had no trouble doing it. But again, I don't race it. It's it's just, you know, I take it to shows. It's built it to show it. So uh, I'm not that critical with the valve adjustment. Um, now for the Lash, uh, it's got a comp cam in it, and they're calling for um, 20 thousandths. And that's hot. Well, this engine's real hard to get hot. You'd have to run it for quite a while. Uh, running on methanol, the thing runs real cold. If you go back to uh, my last video at OTR, I drove it almost four miles to get over to OTR on the street, 40, 50 miles an hour. And when I got there, the temperature only went up to 120. So it was really still running pretty cold. So with that being said, I set my lash at 16 thousandths. Some people say it expands between four to six thousandths, depending on whether you got aluminum head, um, steel heads. Now I have a steel block and aluminum Kazi SR71 heads. So if it expands a little, four thousandths, I'm right at the 20. If it ex gets really warm and it goes six thousand expansion, then I'm at 22. And I don't think, you know, 22 is really going to hurt it. Like I said, right now, cold, I run around 16 thousandths. So... Well, let me see if I can get this camera set up on a tripod. I'll try to get started and see if I can film a little bit of it. Well, I'm gonna loosen up the uh, intake here a little bit. Check it one more time. Let me see if I can uh, move the camera. We'll go over to the other. I'll spin the motor over a quarter of a turn. Let 
Now we'll check it here. Here, 270 right there. Now we can go ahead and Alright, turn the motor over. Now we should be here. Here, number seven. That's good. Uh, intake's a little tight. Uh, let's loosen it up. I probably could have left all of these. I mean. They're all within one or two thousands. The first couple weeks I drove the motor, you know, it adjusted a little bit more, I guess, wearing in, breaking in. But now that I've run it for quite a while, um, I don't really see that much movement in it. Puts this 
90 degrees on the balancer. Let's see where Tight, loose. It. Tighten these up. I'll check it one more time. Okay, well, like I said earlier, um, there's a lot of ways to adjust it. And I'm just showing you the way I adjust it. Well, uh, I was going to go ahead and change the oil, but uh, I think I'm going to hold off and just make another video about changing the oil. Because uh, last month I decided that I, I, some people were telling me about cooking the oil and trying to burn off the methanol to reuse the oil because the oil is pretty clean. It's just the methanol is the problem. And I tried it and it seemed to work pretty good. So I was going to make a video about it. So I think I'm going to end this one here and I'll, I'll go ahead and make another video about just changing the oil. Well, appreciate everybody watching. Uh, don't forget, hit the like, subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.